You can also press this draw button. Um, so basically, if you press draw, what it lets you do is it just follows your finger. So I can do really weird things like that. Not, not that you ever would. Oh, well, I mean, some people may. I'm not sure. It's kind of fun. I'd like to have a listen to that with a decent set of speakers to see what it sounds like. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, and the times two just gives you like a double zoomed in. So it just gives you a little bit more kind of precision if you're just after something. Now you can also just go up um, and type it in. So if I just want to go five, so um, really simple. So you, you can use your finger, you can uh, try and be really, really precise, um, totally up to you. Um, so that's it. So augs two, yep. Solo mute, um, then you can go back to your mixer. Then you also have, um, you can just swipe through. So basically I can swipe through um, all of the org sends and you can get right down to your delay. I find it much easier just to press and then choose which one you want. Um, so very simple. Um, and then if you click, sorry, if you click up here, you've got uh, preset show and then these little like three lines. If you click on that, you actually get into your group assignment. So you've got clear solos, you've got your reverb mute, your delay mute, you've got your assign groups. So here's where you can um, start creating groups. Uh, so you've got your mute groups and you've got your view A, view B as well. So really simple, really easy to use. Um, and then you've also got your view all groups. Uh, well, I actually haven't made any, so that's probably why I can't view them. Um, what else do I have to show you? So that's that. Um, let's go back to left and right. So here we are, left and right. And yeah, you can. Let me just turn that off. Sorry, um, so basically when before when I was showing you how you can lock out the presets and the, and the show button, I've just come back to turn that off because um, I didn't do it before. And now I can show you, you've actually got, um, if you click on show, you've got your current show, so you can do snapshots basically. Um, and then you can also do presets. Now the snapshots don't actually record the gain structure because the gain structure isn't part of the iPad app. Um, I think it should be. I think these gain pots should control a, like a little virtual um, gain pot on the actual iPad because when you come back to reload your presets, the gain doesn't reload. Not that that's a bad thing, um, but it would be nice if it was actually saved in the uh, presets. So you've got presets, you've got your current show, you've got offline shows, because you can obviously program this offline, come in with your iPad and just plug it in. Um, and then you've got your presets. So the presets, are these are um, factory presets. So what you can do is go, oh, I know I've got a kick drum. And if you recall the kick drum, what it actually does is it gives you that preset. Um, but you also have are here. So you've also got your user one, so you can store your own as well. So that's again, you know, really nice, cool little function. Um, and that's really pretty much it. There's not, not too much else to really go into about the actual um, software. Well, they have the uh, Mackie DL uh, 1608. I just wanted to quickly touch on the um, wireless. So basically what you can do is wirelessly connect your iPad to the console. So you can disconnect your iPad, walk around and you've got all of the features. You can also connect up to 10 iPads, 
which means that you could give your drummer or your bass guitarist one and they can work out their own sends and, and their own mix if you wanted to do that. Um, the only downside that I found is that you actually have to connect this to a wireless access point. So you basically go from the ethernet port here to a wireless access point and then you connect everything, all your iPads to a wireless access point or you can just connect your iPad directly to the actual console. Look, it's not a deal breaker. Um, I just thought it'd be nice if this actually had the wire, a wireless card built into it. Um, but, you know, for, ov for obvious reasons, there uh, isn't one. Uh, some of the good stuff I just want to say is um, that I like that they've thought about the different um, connections for, for the iPads. Obviously, Apple's changing them every single time they upgrade anything. And they've also got different inserts. So you can actually connect an iPad mini to this as well. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind as, uh, as well. Um, I think it'd be great to see that the gain structure saved, uh, or, or if it would be great to see if the gain structure could be saved as part of your presets. Again, it's not a deal breaker. It's just one of those little little features that, that I think would be nice to see. Um, now, re, uh, retail price. These things are on the market, or the 1608, currently on the market. I had a look on Stall DJ. You can pick them up for 14, 1,450. Um, Brisbane Sound has them on their website on special at the moment for $1,290, so $1,300. Um, and really, for $1,300 plus an iPad, what, that's $300 bucks maybe, $400. Bucks. So, you know, for under two grand, you're basically getting a 16-channel digital console. And it's really quite user-friendly. Um, you know, it, it has a lot of functionality. I'm sure they're going to keep on developing the app. And, and I don't think you can go past it for um, uh, under uh, $2,000. And the Onyx preamps are great. I, I think they sound great for, for a little console that's uh, basically controlled um, from an iPad. Well, that's it for me today. Um, if you'd like to see more, go to crewpass.com. Uh, you'll see some more of our videos and you can get involved in the community and see what's going on in the industry. Uh, if there's any, anything you'd like me to review, or any products that you've seen or you want a bit more information about, I'll leave an email address below in the show notes. I'll also leave a link to the um, Mackie DL uh, 1608 and where, uh, a link where you can download the app as well. Uh, that's it and I'll see you in the next video.